Hey everyone, welcome to Moving Matt. We do vlogs, travel, and some camera stuff. And this is Breaking Rumors, the show where we break rumors. And today we have an update about the possible specs of Canon's up and coming flagship camera, probably named the Canon EOS R1. This update is coming to us from Canon Rumors, who say they have it from a good source that the R1 will be using a new quad pixel autofocusing system. And not just that, but it will also have a global shutter. Everything that guy just said is bullshit. Now, Canon Rumors did imply that their source was more certain about the new autofocusing system, so let's go over that first. If you are new to this story, let me catch you up really quick. For a while, one of the rumors about the R1 was that it will have a new autofocusing system that is even better than the incredible dual pixel autofocus 2 found in the R5 and R6. Then Canon News discovered a new patent revealing that Canon in the past had been working on a quad pixel autofocusing system, and everyone speculated that possibly this could be the new autofocus system coming to the R1. But since a lot of patents don't amount to much, it's really been complete speculation up until now, when Canon Rumors reported that a very solid source said it will indeed be showing up in the R1. Now, I'm not an engineer and I do not completely know all the ins and outs and all the advantages that a quad pixel autofocus will have, but Canon Rumors says that it will help improve autofocus accuracy no matter what the orientation the subject or the camera is in. And it's easy to see how this would be extremely useful at capturing fast action, like what is found in sporting events, and action photographers is the target demographic for this camera. The R1 is supposed to be at the Olympics, so it would be easy to see, for example, how a sporting event like skateboarding that is making its Olympic debut could benefit from a camera being able to lock autofocus even if someone is flipping and spinning around through the air. But the new autofocusing system isn't the only thing that they said could be coming to the R1. The source did say that there is a strong possibility that the R1 will also have a global shutter. A global shutter is something that many people have been talking about as a feature coming to mirrorless cameras for a while now. Many thought it was going to be in the Sony a7S III, but that didn't turn out to be true. But in this case, it would be coming to a camera that is likely going to be north of $6,000. And also it would be in a camera that a global shutter would greatly improve its primary function of capturing high action sports and would eliminate the wonky effects that rolling shutter can have. Now, I do remember reading that a global shutter may have some negative effects on dynamic range, but this camera has also been touted to have upwards of 20 stops of dynamic range, so maybe using their dual gain sensor technology, they can kind of counteract that somehow. Now, I know this all sounds pretty incredible and even unbelievable, a quad pixel autofocus, a global shutter, 20 stops of dynamic range, and I agree, it does sound like some wishful thinking, but I will say that a year ago, most were thinking that 8K RAW in a small Canon camera was completely out of reach. And while that definitely didn't go over without a hitch, I think that was more of a failing on the marketing department and a transparency issue. My point is this does sound outlandish, but if it does turn out to be true, then that really would be a breaking rumor. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Drop in the comment section below and give me some of yours. Do you think any of this sounds legit or do you think this is way out there, completely out of the question with current technology? If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you ever wanna give me a chance of buying a camera like the R1, then maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.